the rocket and satellites company will provide the platform to scientists engineers professionals and students to come learn and serve the space industry for the benefit of humanity welcome to your online coffee break where we discuss bite-sized topics that inspire, educate, and entertain. Here's your host, a software innovator, award-winning marketer, and astronomy and space buff, Chuck Fields. Hello, thanks so much for joining us today. Folks, as you know, we release the space-themed episodes about every two weeks, and over the next several episodes, we're going to embark on a new kind of space journey. We're actually going to speak with various countries around the world on the exciting future of their space efforts and what they're doing for the future of space exploration. Of course, today I'm excited to speak with Pakistan's first private space company. Um, Over the next couple episodes, we're going to be featuring JAXA, which is Japan's space agency, as well as the Canadian Space Agency, and perhaps others to follow. So again, if you have not subscribed yet, we don't want you to miss a single episode, so make sure you subscribe on whatever podcast application you're listening on, or if you're watching on YouTube, just click that subscribe button right now. We would appreciate that. Uh, Before we introduce Pakistan's first private space company, I'd like to introduce my friend Esteban as he shares his space journey. So, hey, my name is Esteban. Um, I first got into space uh, when I was a kid. My, my family moved to Florida, so just right down south of the Space Coast. And I started to hear about, you know, all the space launches. And at that time, it was the space shuttle era. And little by little, I mean, I started to get super excited about it. Uh, I started to learn more and more. And I got into aviation, hoping that, in, you know, at one day or point in time, I'll be able to reach space. It's actually my dream. It's my, that'll be my life fulfilled. <laughs> well, I know I will go no matter what. I, it is not a matter of an, what if I'm going to go no matter what, whether I'm going to be able to do it, paying for a ticket on uh, Virgin Galactic or eventually being an actual NASA astronaut. Uh, but I know it's going to happen. I'm thinking already that way. But if I got to go, I mean, apart from the excitement and feeling um, the, you know, that I'm actually achieving a dream of mine, um, it's just seeing the curvature of the earth, starting to see what all the astronauts talk about. You know, they go out there and they cannot stop staring outside of that window, uh, seeing earth uh, from that perspective, seeing humanity, as a whole, no borders. It just shows proof of how much we can accomplish when our species comes together, you know? So it will just be so memorable and I'll probably be speechless for a while, but just enjoying it, to be honest. Your space journey. Thanks, Esteban, for sharing your space journey. Folks, we'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to share about what you're most excited about for the future of space exploration, give us a call. Just leave us a voicemail at 317-862-4700 or email us an audio or video clip. Just send that email to info at yourspacejourney.com. Now on to our main interview. Today, we're going to speak with Sami Ola Khan. He's the CEO of Pakistan's first private space company, the Rocket and Satellite Company. The Rocket and Satellite Company will offer solutions for two major space issues, space debris and in-orbit satellite servicing. Online Coffee Break. Uh, Good evening from Pakistan, sir. (laughs) It's so so (laughs) nice to finally speak with you. Thank you so much for taking my call. Pleasure, sir. Pleasure. It's an honor for me. Uh, Sammy, listen, we're so excited to learn about Pakistan's first private space company. Can you give us a general overview of uh, why it was founded? First of all, I'm very much thankful uh, to you, Mr. Chuck, that you invited me uh, to such a great program. It's an honor for me. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, the reason uh, to form the space company is to make easy the life of uh, space industry and to provide the simple and affordable uh, uh, results to end users, like uh, the people using the space technology, space-based technology uh, products, services, and solutions. It's for the benefit of uh, my country, Pakistan, the benefit uh, of world and humanity. 
in future my company would like to collaborate with leading space agencies and uh, private space companies to address and solve the major space challenges like space deliveries increase the satellite's lifespan it would automatically result to the secure the uh, company's huge investment the rocket and satellites company will provide the platform to scientists engineers professionals and students to come learn and serve the space industry for the benefit of humanity sir I think that's wonderful. And again, you, you talked about the two major space issues that the rocket and satellite company will be addressing, space debris and in-orbit satellite servicing. Um, let's talk first about the problem of growing space debris. I think a lot of our audience might not know just how much of a problem that is. Can you tell us more about the, just sort of the growing risk of in-space collisions due to space debris? As you know, uh, as we all know, the, there are thousands of space junks in orbiting in space, which can be hazard to the active satellites and our uh, spacecrafts. There are some 34,000 uh, pieces of space debris, at least 10 centimeters in size, including fragments of failed satellites and rockets around the Earth. The space junk is uh, handling the deployment of uh, new satellites. As we know, the principal source of debris includes satellites that have reached the end of their lives, the rocket stages used to place satellites in orbit, balls and other objects released during the satellite's deployments, and fragments from the intentional or accidental uh, breakup of large objects. If it Collides, collides with a space vehicles contain, contain, uh, containing humans passenger, mm. it could create significant damage that could threaten the life and safety of those on board. The collision can also lead to more junk to be released into space, creating more risk. Space tourism would be one of the hot domain in future, so we have to make ready ourselves and prepare to manage the space debris challenge from right now, sir. Along with the space debris tracking and fixing system, also we can overcome this issue by using the design materials and technology using in future launch vehicles and satellites. So I think that's wonderful. Now, I, what I really like, I, I'm a software developer and I love the field of artificial intelligence. And what I want to understand is that to address your solution for space debris, your company is developing, sort of combining artificial intelligence and space technology for a solution. I was wondering if you could tell us just a little bit more about that. Yeah. Uh, to address the space debris challenges, the proposed solution has two parts. Uh, one is the tracking combining the artificial intelligence and second part is in orbit fixing of space debris uh, challenge these solution uh, are in uh, research research uh, research phase once it would it will uh, come in some mature form so definitely i will share uh, detail with your audience sir so that's wonderful now the benefits of reducing space debris will save millions of dollars for space-based companies, and while also, of course, reducing risk and improving safety. Now, I understand this is, of course, a long-term solution, but do you have a time frame yet for this solution? Uh, yeah. Uh, part one, uh, which uh, tracking by the AI would come off fully within a three to five year. I would come with uh, some effective solution to address the space debris challenges. So three to five years, it will uh, take an answer. Wonderful. We're so excited about that. Now, of course, another amazing goal that you mentioned for your company is to perform in-orbit satellite servicing to increase the life of satellites. Can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah, sure. This is a very interesting part. Uh, the solution is something like a uh, service station on Earth. So the same service station, which is we are uh, on Earth, Something. This idea is for uh, service station on satellite on spa in space uh, to uh, service the uh, satellites space cars mm -hmm. in orbit. As we know, the satellites are the expensive product itself. Companies are investing the thousands of dollars to develop the satellites uh, and pay more thousands of dollars to send these satellites into space. Yeah. On top of this, the satellites have a limited lifespan, like some uh, years, 10 years, 5 years, maybe 15 years, maybe something more. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we compare the company's investment 
and the satellites life span the result is automatically would bring expensive services to the end user mm-hmm. also sometimes the satellites become out of order before it's given operational time frame so mm-hmm. minimize this risk and increase the satellites life span i have some idea like as i mentioned the service station in space yes. i have some idea uh, i'm sure after this solution the companies can use their investment for a long time which result in low cost services on to the end user sir See, I think that's brilliant. And I, I just want to say on behalf of us, we just want to congratulate you for, for leading this amazing effort. I just want to ask you, what has it been like for you to start a new private space company? Sir, I'm thankful for you, your kind words. Uh, my, vision is, my vision is to make life easy for the space-based companies, which automatically brings down the uh, great result to the end user. To form the company, especially in uh, space domain, is much interesting, yes. but more challenging as well. So I choose the challenge for the benefits of the space companies and end user. So I formed uh, the rocket and satellite company to implement my ideas into the reality for the benefits of humanity and the companies, space companies, and uh, the end users. Sir. That's wonderful. Now. Obviously, there's there's several other space companies around. Are there are there other space companies or other space industry leaders that may have influenced you? <laughs> yeah, here I must say, uh, Sir Tony Bruno, President and CEO of United uh, Launch Alliance. Ah, yes. Elon Musk, a great name. Mm-hmm. Elon Musk, a great name. CEO of SpaceX and Peter Beck, CEO of Rocket Lab, are the leaders of the modern space industry. I'm always trying to learn from their experiences. Experiences. They are. I, I I must say I think uh, and I'm co- confidently say they are uh, genius and Einstein of present rocket industry, sir. Well, it's wonderful. And and Sammy, again, I think it's leadership like you um, leading the way. Again, you're coming up with some brilliant solutions to solve some major problems. I think that's wonderful. Now, I would like to just hear more about about you, if I may. I'd love to hear more about what fascinates you in particular about space. Can you tell us how your interest in space began? Well, uh, I'm basically from computer science uh, domain. Nice. I love to offer the simple and affordable uh, affordable solutions. I, I'm very much interested to learn new and challenging uh, technologies. I have read about the space technology and it seems very interesting to me. So I thought to why not work in this domain and do something more good for the benefits of Pakistan world and humanity. Sammy, how can our audience find out more about the rocket and satellite company? As you know, uh, the company uh, just started its long journey. So we we have our website, uh, which is in a process, and we are working on our uh, social media presence as well. So audience could see update from our website time by time uh, as well uh, from our social media presence as well, sir. Excellent. And I will put the link to the Rocket Satellite Company website in our show notes for this episode. So any of our listeners can go there and just click it uh, to follow that link and to find you on social media. Sam, again, I want to congratulate you on just your efforts so far with the Rocket Satellite Company. And we want to wish you the best for the amazing future of it. Thank you so much for taking time to join us today from Pakistan. A pleasure, sir. Thank you. No, same to you, sir. Online Coffee Break. Well, I really enjoyed my conversation with Sammy today, and I'm so excited about the future of Pakistan's first private space company. If you'd like to learn more, just go to their website at therocket-satellitecompany.com. Just check the show notes for the link. Again, I want to thank Sammy for taking time to join us from Pakistan today. I want to thank you folks for taking time to join us as well. Again, we'd appreciate it if you subscribe or share this episode with a friend. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time. God bless.